and welcome back. Okay, so some of us have uh, a mouse, and I'm not talking about a keyboard, a mini keyboard. I'm talking about like just a mouse that we want to connect to our Fire Stick or our NVIDIA Shield. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. It's actually really simple and really fast to do. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you guys like today's content, please smash that thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you guys have ever tried anything like this. So here we go. Um, I got a mouse and I'm going to leave in the description this mouse in particular. That way you guys can see what it is. Um, this one has Bluetooth mode and it has your uh, USB mode if you guys have a USB so if you guys want to put this on your NVIDIA shield stuff like that and it's got a USB port great if it doesn't have a USB port like a fire stick then what we're going to do is we're going to test this out to see if it connects to a fire stick or not so here we go here's my capture card I got my mouse or my my remote and I'm going to go all the way to the the gear icon um, come down here to controllers and Bluetooth devices go over to other Bluetooth devices. Now, I, I I have this turned off right now. So I'm gonna click add Bluetooth device and now it's gonna start searching. I'm gonna switch this over to Bluetooth and now it says pair it. I have that little flashing light right there. Um, and there we go. So it wasn't pulling up at first. So all I did was I held the pair, pair button and there it is, MM712 hybrid mouse. Um, and it looks like I'm connected now. So I'm going to put this down. And if you guys could see me over here, I'm going to see if this actually works. So let's go ahead and come all the way out. And, and we're going to go to like downloader. We're going to see if there's a, there's a way to use one of these things. So I'm going to go ahead and allow, allow, uh, just go to a browser and there it is. There's my mouse right there. So if I need a mouse. I, I that's good and, and I'm actually using the scroller thing here too which is great um yeah that's actually kind of cool I wonder if I hit the like let me see I'm gonna click on one of these links and it's gonna go forward and then there is a back button here and I'm actually allowed to go back cool um that's actually super super cool and just like that, yeah, I'm able to to back all the way out. Now I know some people are gonna say like, well, what about um, what about uh, if I'm trying to use a mouse on the home screen? So with the mouse on the home screen, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna work. You need this mouse for like web browsers and stuff like that, or some of these apps that do call for one, um, that you need like a, you know a mouse for some of these apps. So yeah pretty simple pretty easy and then the easiest way to get out of that you're going to use your your remote um if you need to unsync it very very simple controller bluetooth devices go to other bluetooth devices find the mouse press that hamburger button to unpair and then press the confirm button center and it should uh it should disconnect um so the other thing i do is i also um back out connect this and it looks like it's still going to be there oh and there it goes it just it just wiped out so i had it had to hit that again and it's gone so pretty nice and neat um yeah I, I i gotta tell you guys like this is some pretty cool stuff and and what you can do some very very simple some stuff that you might already have at home you don't have to buy extra stuff and some people do like to use like a full keyboard a full mouse um yeah, and this will work on NVIDIA Shield. This will work on any Android boxes, Formula, Buzz TV, stuff like that. So you should be all set. With all that being said, hope you guys appreciate today's episode. You guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.